other things, Miguel and I were kind of talking about The Walking Dead before um, before we uh, went live here. Uh, if you don't know, I don't know how you don't yet. I have my huge Walking Dead poster up here. I have Lucille. We actually did an episode. We both have Lucille. They couldn't tell because they can't see the him. fucking poster, dude. I know. Uh, over there on the wall. Uh, I have my, uh, my Lucille bat. Help. And uh, I know it probably didn't help. Uh, go back and watch our Here's Negan review and you'll... Uh, You'll understand, his, <laughs> and, his and you'll fandom. you'll see you'll see our uh, our Negan bats. Um, but there's a little bit of Walking New- Walking Dead news that came out, and I told him I've I missed a few. Like I was caught up. I've watched the show since day one. I watched it since the night it premiered and on Halloween in 2010, all the way up until right now. Uh, and my wife and I went out of town when the second episode was airing. We were out of town, and I just never got picked back up from this current season. So I'm 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 a uh, I'm working my way back up. I have like three episodes left until I'm caught up. And then I got to get caught up on world beyond. And I'm super behind on fear the walking dead. Um, but I'm working on it. That's my project right now. I'm trying to get caught up on the walking dead. Um, you haven't watched since when was the last season you watched? Mm-hmm. I know you kind of started again for a little bit. It was literally the extra, the extra seasons. I missed the entire whisper war. And then I watched. But you the know extra, what? Uh, honestly, yeah, I know. I know what happens. The same way as it happens in the comics. Yeah, so you know I, I know what happens, what happens in, the in the Whisperer War. And I watched the extra six episodes. You know, they're they're good. They're good filler episodes. It was your usual Walking Dead. Yeah. But uh, I mean, it is what it is. But yeah, <laughs> Art says get your shit together, <laughs> bro. I don't have cable, so I can't watch that shit at nine. Dude, sign in with night. our AMC thing, bro. I never got that shit. I use I, honestly. I mooch from my parents on that. Um, I, I exactly. We don't. We have cable, but we have basic cable, and I don't get AMC with our package. So uh, I sign in with um. I sign in through them, and I I watch them. I can still watch it live because you can watch live TV through that. Um, J Dead says that's weird. I was literally just talking to my friend about we should get back into The Walking Dead. I haven't watched it since Rick left. Okay, that's usually Listen. about the time too for me. Honestly, I know people it got was really... after Rick left, and then Whisper War was gone, and then I watched Chapter Six. That's how it went. People got really sick of the Negan, the All Out War storyline, which I get. I I love the All Out War thing. I thought they did a lot of it really well, but they they could have like what they did with the governor. They could have taken the out a, they the governor they, <laughs> Loomis the governor. They could have taken out a half a season of all the all out war storyline and it would have been it would have sufficed like you could have wrapped up the Negan thing quicker than they did. Got kind of got better once we got the older man, Rick. uh, Older man, Rick was literally the worst fucking move I've ever seen in my life. Why? It was just it was like when I saw when I saw that short hair and whitish beard, I was like, oh, fuck. He off. did go gray. That I was like, bro, it's only been like two years. Like, calm down. <laughs> yeah, it's it like, hasn't it's like, been that. Long. I know it's like I know the zombie apocalypse is stress, but that doesn't do much to your hair color. Like the fuck out of here. Bro, look at Obama after like four years. <laughs> <laughs> four years went no, from... <laughs> he went gray uh yeah, but yeah. rick went gray too man but i'm telling you jay did if you stopped watching it uh watch it again because like i was just telling miguel before we went live like i've always watched it like i know a lot of everybody that's it's funny because and i guess every major tv show kind of gets a little bit of this but like I and I was like this with admittedly I was like this with Breaking Bad. Everybody was like, "Bro, watch Breaking Bad. Bro, watch Breaking Bad. Watch Breaking Bad when it was on." He said Breaking Bad. And I just I, Breaking Bad, Breaking Me. Uh I just never watched it. And then I finally just binged Breaking Bad over the summer. Julia watched it. She loved it. And I binged it and it's in my top 3. It, it's it's literally The Walking Dead, The X-Files, and then Breaking Bad as my favorite 3 TV shows of all time. Um and I, I love them. And I know people hate on The Walking Dead. It's the best continuation or, con, excuse me, continuous zombie apocalypse story of all time. It is. And there I'm ain't sorry. much. Hate me if you want, but it is. It, it's They did a fantastic job with that show. And I know it's had its ups and downs. Um, and I do think it's time to end it. But you also have to think, though, I it's getting better, like, I'm t- I, like I said before we started. I was talking to him about this. I was like, "Bro, it's actually kind of like it's pretty dope. Like it's it's more horror based. It's a darker theme. Um, 
there's a few characters that are pissing me off. Like they spent half of this episode looking for these horses to try to get them back to Alexandria. Cause I know if you haven't watched in a while, uh, Alexandria is in, in pretty <laughs> Alexandria is in, in a rough place right now. They're not doing too good. Uh, <laughs> they're stuck but, between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> they really are. It looks terrible. Um, but they, uh, you know, they spent like half of this episode looking for their horses because their horses got away after the Whisperer War, and Carol brought one back and killed it because they were hungry. I was like, you really? I screamed. I was like, get the f-! I was so mad on my couch. I was like, this is dumb, man. Why would you do that? Um, because they're hungry. What the fuck? But yeah. The fuck? Well, what, do you, what do you mean that's that's awful? That's awful. That's terrible. She literally told her girl to look at the flowers. That's not that's, that's listen, literally not the listen, worst thing she's done. It's the way she did it, though. If she would have just shot it in the head with like without like trying to baby it, it would have been fine. But it was that's like, what you're supposed to we do. Need the horses. We need the horses. And then she laid it on the ground and she was like petting it. And she was like, oh, you're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. Pulls out her knife and just slit its throat. And I was oh, like, oh, slit its throat. Oh, that's fucked up. Right. There. I was yeah, like, that's, where that's did that fucked. come from? Are you no, freaking gotta... joking me? No, you gotta you gotta take that thing out humanely. Art, you said, do I like horse meat? No, I don't like horse meat. I'm just saying when you're when you're ten years in the zombie apocalypse, that pissed me off. I I totally get that. I totally understand. I turn Thai. I turn Chinese Whatever. and eat dogs. Like if I was in the zombie apocalypse, Whatever. like that's that's usually how it you works. Eat dogs. If I was in the zombie apocalypse, boy, it's every Bro. it's literally survival. Bro, if I if there is no boy, there is an there is an episode in the filler. That really set the tone for why Carol did it. It was whenever uh, I think it was when uh, Gabriel and what's his name with the metal arm now, Aaron. Aaron, when Aaron were looking for like stuff and everywhere they went, they came up empty. Like that's that's what happens when you're ten years into the into the apocalypse. Like your usual rations are gonna run out. Like you're gonna run out of food. Everyone, everything's gonna be picked clean. Or I someone's say, gonna bro, have it already. Like that was the most depressing episode I've seen because you could just see their spirit get taken down. <laughs> he said, "I'm not surprised Carol hasn't already resorted to full on cannibalism. She gives no f's." <laughs> bro, honestly, the way the the way Brad told me how she how he killed that horse, I'm not surprised either. Like yeah. Jesus. Well, it just it pissed me off because it came out of nowhere. Like if there would have been some warning, I could have like mentally prepared myself. But she was like, like she literally it laid on the ground and like her its head was in her lap and stuff. And she was like, you're such a good boy. I was like. I was like, bro, Negan killed Glenn with like a little bit more finesse than how she (laughs) killed this horse. I was like, dude. Come what would you rather on, have her do? Man. What would you rather have her do? Just shoot continue, it in the head. Continue you to have like guns. caress her, his hair and say, "Damn, you took it like a champ, didn't you?" Or some bullshit like that. No, Carol. Whatever. I mean, I Whatever. understand why she didn't want to shoot it because she didn't want to check walkers. But you got to do something, man. You you, you like like you, you got to do something more humanely than just slit in the fucking throat. You're, t- like, you're supposed to be in Georgia, Tennessee, the Carolinas, in that area. You're telling me there's not enough deer and rabbits and pigs and shit out in the woods to go eat. Are you bro, really you gonna mean, sit here and tell me that? Yeah. Do you know how many zombies there are out there? Like they <laughs> they ate the bunnies. They ate bro, the deer. While they, they were looking the... for the horses, though, they came up on this like river or whatever. Zombies got a hold of the horses, bro. That's what I mean. See, those that's horses what I were mean. chewed up. It was bad. Huh? I was like, oh, those horses were chewed up. The Walking Dead has horses a bad were harmed with in horses, the making man. of this video. <laughs> Seriously, the horses always get the shaft in The Walking Dead. Um, but anyways, man, uh, Jay, or, or, uh, Art says, has it right, man. He said, I can't even talk. I don't know. Whoever you are. <laughs> he says, the best shows are the ones that intrigue you to the bitter end. And I think that's been The Walking Dead for me. It's like, like I keep coming back to it as being like my show. Like everybody's got like their show that like, they just, they love it no matter what. And like, I will admit it's had its ups and downs. Um, a huge down was after the prison, like after the whole governor thing, when he came back with the tank and, you know, Rick with his bloody face, just keep walking. Like when they left the prison or whatever, we spent a good season and a half of them just wandering out in the woods alone, <laughs> like like in small groups. I was like, "Yeah, pretty come much. on, like let's go somewhere before they got to terminus." And they kept hinting at terminus. I was like, "Dude, someone know, right? get the terminus now! 
someone had to like just stumble upon it by now at this point because yeah. i kept seeing like terminus the map terminus or the railroad terminus every single every single by everybody's journey that they went through all led up to like them finding the map them seeing a train track or them yeah. like just somehow just finding a clue to terminus and i was like bro we all just went through this entire season for them to say we got another place i said the fuck <laughs> out of here <laughs> you could have you could have you could have found another place and still had exposition in a span of like two episodes not yeah, fucking I five know. i don't know man uh but i missed this comment miguel J dead agrees with you <laughs> about rick <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo, Michelle really whipped R- 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 Grimes into into being a little pussy. I'm not gonna lie. If I'm if, not okay, I'm not gonna prison, lie. If prison Rick Grimes went through the same shit that old man Rick Grimes went through when he like supposedly died, he would have stood right up from that rebar and said, "That hurt," and just kept walking. That's yeah. it. Or no, he would have he would have done this bullshit. He would have done the bullshit while he's still on the rebar and he's over here like this, like. You know how he holds his gun? Like, yeah. it's, like, low-key down. Like, it's not aiming at anything. Yeah. Like, he still holds it, like, going strong. Like, that's usually how, uh, that's how I would imagine. I remember um, we were talking about that the one day. Like, I have a poster up here of Rick. Like, it's Rick and Lori and Carl and Shane standing on the RV, and there's zombie on Dale's RV, and there's zombies at the bottom or whatever. And, uh, and like, the way Rick holds his gun, it, he, like, he, like, like pulls his wrist down like he's holding a brick or something and uh or a cinder block and i remember we were watching it one day and my dad just goes he said that would break his wrist i said what do you mean That's he was like exactly. he said that python he said if you held a python one-handed like that with your wrist cocked down like that he said you're you are going to the hospital with a broken wrist like, yeah That's exactly happening. it's literally when i saw that picture i remember when i saw that picture because i didn't i didn't start the walking dead like brad did i was hesitant at first and he would always tell me about it and he would show me the poster and be like dude you see how cool this poster is i said literally andrew leak like rick grimes he like the actor is literally a British dude learning how to be a country dude who never held a gun. <laughs> That's the best way I could put it. If I see someone holding that gun like that, I'm t- I'm telling myself right now he's never touched a gun before in his life. Yeah. And I 100 percent believe he did not have any training on how to hold a gun. Could you see how those shots are? Well, those 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 shots those aren't real shots. Those are just CGI shots. You know how like when the yeah, the but some of them are and it's like the like the little CGI stuff. Now, now that they probably had years of training on it, but in the pilot episode, they didn't have money to oh, train no. these people. So that's Those what they did. So episodes, that's where no. that's where the that's where the L's down gun came from. Is from Rick Grimes not having from uh, a- AMC not having the funds to train Rick Grimes on how to actually well, properly hold a gun. And when that poster was... came out, they were like, "Wow, that looks dope." But people from the legitimate Atlanta and Southern, they're like the fuck is this british dude over here holding a gun like that that's all i gotta say first of all who who holds a python one-handed you know nobody that does that 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 likes their wrist because that's literally gonna (laughs) fuck him up i imagine every time and when i see i see when i see how the gun is like shot when he shoots the recoil that bad the recoil i I never in the pilot no in the pilot the recoils i the recoils were so inaccurate that thing would have swung him back. He would have back. He would have back dropped right back to the fucking hospital bed. One hundred percent. That's usually how it goes. But every time I see it, it's like it's like it's literally like bang. I'm like, what? I well, wish I a remember, python had that less of a recoil. I remember they do you. They do shoot actual blanks, but they also like when chance because there's I don't know what the age gap is, but like there are certain age levels that. You're not allowed, like, they're, like, Chandler Riggs was not allowed to use an, like, he could hold a real gun, but he couldn't shoot a blank until he was a certain age. And I remember when it was that age and they could actually use real blanks with him, it was a huge deal. That's why, like, the girl at the beginning, who's also, like, 21 now, which makes me extremely uncomfortable, uh, the little girl holding, like, the, the bunny at the beginning when Rick, like, when he's at the gas station, like the very opening scene, and he says, "Oh," crap. and he like goes and he shoots her. That was a CGI shot because legally, like filming laws, you are not allowed to shoot a bl- even if it's a blank. You can't shoot a blank at a child. Which I mean, duh. Like I get that. Like I'm not saying that like you should be able to, but I know that they do use actual blanks because like it's been a big deal when like when Chandler Riggs was able to do it. You know what I mean? 
and stuff Damn, like can that. Can you imagine if Alec Baldwin was in this show? So that's a wrap, guys. Uh, this has been a really fun episode. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, um, we can joke. We, we, we can talk about it. We yeah, can talk about I it. Yeah, I don't know. Um, J Dead says Python recoil is very similar to a Desert Eagle kicks like a mofo. Re- it kicks that hard. It kicks, dude. Like it fucking kicks. I Have mean, you could never... you? Could you? Hypothetically, could Rick Grimes shoot it one handed? He could, but not like not the way he does. <laughs> he does it like it's. Like, I've you're, seen like you're holding the teddy bear. Literally, I I literally I go on YouTube and I watch videos of people improperly shooting guns and it's the fucking most hilarious shit ever people leave with black eyes people like get their fucking shoulder like misplaced because just how much these motherfuckers kick bro listen you want to laugh so i was with my brother and my cousin one time we were at we were at a a gun range in in central kentucky and this was this god this was probably five no probably it probably six or seven years ago now and he had the he had I, i'm not a gun person i don't own any i mean i don't have nothing against guns but i'm not i don't own any guns uh i uh so we we were at a range and i put this i put this sniper up and i didn't like i me being dumb i didn't realize that like when you're like when you're holding a sniper rifle like it was a range so like i had a target and whatever down range and i didn't re- like i put the thing right up to my eye fucking amateur hour and like i or like right like close to my eye and i didn't keep it like far away so when i shot it hit my eye and i kind of i was kind of like oh whatever whatever so i went to do a second one and i was like man it was it was hot it was the summer i was like man it's hot and i looked at my hand and i was like (laughs) and i turned around and my cousin said him him and my brother were just like (laughs) <laughs> my eye i looked like carl after he got shot when in alexandria my eye just had like a perfect circle and i was just like gushing blood down my face and i ended up being fine like it just it didn't it just broke the skin in like one spot but it was like a perfect red ring where it had like clocked me right in the eye the only thing it and hurt it was, was his pride perfect it really did the only thing it really hurt was my pride i was fine uh but it was just it was funny but that goes to show you my brother my brother i'm 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 decent, but I'm not. Boy, recoil stuff. is the one thing that will definitely humble the strongest man ever. Mm-hmm. It, a mm-hmm. recoil, like a like a hard recoil, will humble anybody, no matter who you are. So, I'm sure whenever Rick Grimes, when Andrew Lincoln, Andrew Lincoln finally sh- actually shot one, I'm sure pretty sure it humbled him a little bit. That's probably that's probably why throughout the season, his L L's down kind of went up a little <laughs> bit more throughout the season. It you notice how it got a little bit, bit straighter? Bit. Yeah, and the next thing you know, he's using both hands. So I'm like. <laughs> When we finally see Rick return, it's gonna be like, <laughs> yeah, he's there gonna be. He's actually gonna be holding the gun properly. I swear. Yeah. If I see him do L's down one more time, I'm lose my shit. Uh, J did says, "Damn y'all, talking about these old storylines got me remembering how good The Walking Dead was, dude. It's fantastic. It was like, yeah, it really is. I mean, oh, excuse me. It, it's 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 my favorite TV show of all time, and it. I think it will be at least for." But good majority of my life, man. Um, but all of that to say, obviously, if you if you watch, I kind of know where we're going. It's kind of obvious where we're going with Commonwealth, with the CRM and World Beyond, um, with these different bigger communities. We're kind of moving towards this civil war between all of these communities and kind of the the bigger world like we're moving towards something bigger and i'm down for that it makes sense with the main series ending it makes sense be... with uh with how world beyond ended because world beyond was a limited series it's done that's it like i mean i'm sure these characters will reappear um but like the whole thing with jadis like they literally said the purpose of world beyond was to find out what happened to rick even if we don't actually see Rick, like the, exactly. do you remember the trailer for world beyond was literally Rick running down the thing, looking up at the helicopter, like from a few seasons ago. I mean, like that was literally the teaser trailer for world beyond. Yeah. Um, and we are moving towards Rick's return. Uh, they're, they're, basically what I get is we're moving towards the end game of the walking dead, you know, or the infinity war of the walking dead, like, and Rick is going to return. And it's um, going to be a bunch of communities fighting each other. It's going to be a world war Z. Yes. But all of that to say, so the president of AMC, of the AMC network, said, and I quote, that the Walking Dead universe will live for a very long time. What he means is 
we like the checks we're getting from the walking dead this so show is still going. making a shitload of money that's yeah <laughs> that's what it's really saying um, we're not gonna kill yeah, this man, cash I... cow like carol did to the horse uh but i'm super excited man i i, I don't know i I love the show, man. I love the universe thing. I'm kind of like, uh, there's an extent. It's not the MCU. Like, I don't need 17 different Walking Dead shows. You know what I mean? Like, or are you going to get it? I know. They're just going to keep going, aren't they? They're yeah. not going to stop. It's just, I mean, I am excited for Tales of the Walking Dead. I think that, I think we both said we were excited for like an anthology kind of thing where yeah, it's like know. different points. Like, one episode might be 30 years in the apocalypse, another episode might be, uh, the night the apocalypse began like i mean it's just like you can sporadically do different stories in different parts of the world even if they have the money i don't know what kind of budget they're i mean i'm sure they're going to give them a pretty decent budget because i mean let's be real it's the most happening show on amc right now Mm -hmm. even still and i mean it's still it's one of the biggest shows on tv still to this day even though people are like oh screw the walking dead it sucks no you don't we always used to laugh because all the people like literally there are names we would recognize like my mom and i used to crack up because it's like all the people that comment on the walking dead's facebook post and they're like i stopped watching in season four i'm like well we're on season eight so why are you still commenting on this thing then and it's like the same people every week they're like i'm not watching next week this sucks and then the next week they're like So what do you think of that episode? <laughs> like, thought you weren't watching next week, buddy. Like, I thought you said this sucks so bad. Um, but so I, I am excited to see where it goes, man. I, I'm curious. I'm very curious to see though, because it really seems like now that they've revealed that the virus is man-made. I know Jadis kind of revealed that that it's something to do with the French and like the this. There, there's something going on where people are kind of battling. Uh, and it's interesting that it like literally the, the series... French are, of course, the fucking French are the one that fucking did it. Well, there they was actually so a, much. There was actually a Jenner cameo, like Jenner, like CDC Jenner from like the sixth episode, like the season one finale, uh, where because he does say in that season one finale, he's like the French lasted longer than it is like as far as we know, the French lasted longer than anybody else, like than any other country that this virus was spreading in. So like it makes sense if they're going to be the people or the, the, their government or their, their version of the CDC or whatever. I, I don't know exactly what you'd call it. Their, their umbrella corporation, basically. I mean, if they created the virus, it makes sense that they would last the longest because they were prepared for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. That makes sense. So I don't know, but I'm, I'm, I'm very anxious to see what happens with the walking dead. Yeah.